today's blog video I want to do is about the E-mini Russell. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I specifically received some questions and some people wanting to see what the software has been forecasting for the Russell recently and what it's currently forecasting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys all the way back to 2015, actually just the end of 2015, back uh, around December 30th when Vantage Point forecasted the Mini Russell to go down. And you can see that right here where we had a crossover to the downside where the predicted moving average did cross below the actual moving average indicating that there was a trend change to the downside that was going to occur. At that same time, the neural index dropped to a zero, which you can see down at the bottom, which confirms a downtrend. You have a real solid indication that this trend is in fact going to go down. And the software indicated the trend to continue going down all the way till you see this crossover here, which happened around January 22nd. This was a really nice move to the downside. So if you calculate it, uh, and this is just trading a single contract in these 15 days, that's about, about $16,000 in trading opportunities on a single contract. Now, in terms of what the software has been doing most recently, because that was another question that came in. Well, as you can see, we had a crossover right here. So crossover to the upside this time. So the opposite of what you saw before. And this happened, if you pull the date, clicker over here. This was about the 12th of February. And you also had the neural index popping up to a one. So what you had again is you had a confirmation this time to the upside. Neural index at a one indicating the trend to go up. Predicted moving average crossover crossing to the upside indicating the trend to go up. And remember, the reason why the software is so darn accurate at being able to forecast these trends is because it's not just looking at the Russell. And this is what a lot of you guys do. You look at the Russell and you try to figure out what's the Russell doing based on what the Russell has done. It's not enough. You got to look at what other markets are doing, different ETF sectors, uh, different currency pairs, different futures markets, different individual stocks. All of these are factors that drive and impact the Russell. If you're ignoring them, you're going to get caught off guard. If you're paying attention to them and you have a way of actually factoring that into your decision making, you're going to profit from it. So over the last several days, if you look at what the Russell's done, Russell's gone up pretty nicely just in the last couple of days. And um, that's about uh, just under $2,700 in opportunities, again, on a single contract. Today, as I'm looking at it, it's right now it's uh, 12.34 p.m. Eastern time on the 17th of February. And uh, it looks like the Russell is up about 18 points as of right now. Could go higher. Uh, probably will. But as of right now, if it didn't go any higher, um, customers could have made well over $3,000 on a single contract. The chart you're looking at now is the past year from February 17th, 2015 through February 16th, 2016. This is what the E-mini Russell actually did. But what you'll also notice is there are two other indicators on these charts. This is the predicted high, the red line, and Vantage Point's proprietary predicted low, which is the black line. Every single day, in addition to forecasting the trend direction, Vantage Point is also going to forecast for you what the next day's trading range is likely to be. Now, as we all know, the Mini Russell is somewhat of a volatile market. It moves around a lot. Vantage Point has been very accurate at being able to forecast the next day's trading range. A lot of our customers will use this information to set stops, pick optimal entry and exit points, and we even have customers who rely on this information to day trade. So for example, if the software is forecasting the trend to go up like it is today, they'll look at that predicted low indicator and say, okay, I'm going to get into a long position somewhere near that low. And when the market approaches that predicted high value, that's where I'm going to take profit and get out. If you haven't traded futures before, I'd highly recommend that you look into futures markets. They're highly liquid. Uh, there are some tremendous um, moves that occur in the futures markets, both the financial futures as well as the agricultural markets. And the software is very accurate at forecasting those markets, just as it is in the equities and in the stocks as well. So it's a really nice way to diversify and participate in some really explosive moves that you might not see uh, in the stocks. Have a great day and great trading.